And your name is? Alan Heath. Your occupation? Chartered accountant. And your specialist subject? Thunderbirds. Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Thunderbirds was my favourite programme as a child, and I revisited it at every opportunity when it was re-shown again. It was the popular culture of the time. It was the action sequences and the models and the puppetry. It was the epitome of great television in the 1960s. Thunderbirds is a tough subject to take on Mastermind. It's 32 episodes, that's 27 hours of television, that's a lot of watching to do. For the specialist subject, because it's a TV series, he really has to watch television. So he um, sits and watches uh, Thunderbirds in the evenings. Ah, biscuit. Yeah, how's it going? Ah, oh, not too bad. Thank you very much. <laughs> F.A.B. <laughs> like him. We never really thought he'd get through the first round and he's done so well, so proud of him. You called? Milady? Yes, Parker. Get the Rolls Royce. We are going for a little drive. I'm at the Slough Trading Estate where the original series of Thunderbirds was filmed. I'm just about to see the new series being filmed. Stephen, can you tell me about this new Thunderbirds project of yours? Our aim is to make three episodes of uh, what's now known as classic Thunderbirds using basically pretty much all the same techniques that they were using back in the 1960s. You've got three seconds to switch off that beam. Whilst over here, I got to meet Jamie Anderson, which was an amazing experience, to actually have met the son of the creator. Well, I brought along something from Dad's archive for oh, you, Excellent. Alan. It's a book of some photos which he, mm -hmm. he kept. He wasn't that, but a very nostalgic man. Fab One. Uh, original Fab One. Yes. And me as a is kid. Is that you? With, yeah. Amazing. With original Fab One. Amazing. To win the grand final of Mastermind would be incredible. It would be the apex of any quizzing career. It would be a dream come true. Two minutes on Thunderbirds starting now. Thunderbird 5, the space station at the heart of International Rescue's communications network, is manned alternately by John Tracy and which of his brothers? Alan Tracy. Yep, Jerry Anderson was partly inspired with the idea for the series by a rescue operation mounted after a mining disaster in which country? Germany. Yep, in Trapped in the Sky, when the atomic powered Fire Flash aircraft is found to have a bomb in its landing gear, London Airport's evacuated. The alert uses the code RH. What do the letters stand for? Radiation hazard. Correct. Correct, in terror in New York City, which US Navy warship fires missiles at Thunderbird 2 because it believes it's hostile? The Sentinel. Yes, who kidnaps Lady Penelope and Sir Jeremy Hodge in the Andabad Tunnel in order to find out the details of a new process that can produce rocket fuel from seawater? Godbert. Yep, a company making a film about a Martian invasion unwittingly provides cover for the Hood, who traps two actors in a cave so he can film the Thunderbirds in action when they come to the rescue. What is the company called? Uh... Bletcher. Nope. Goldheimer film unit. What is the name of the tanker carrying a highly combustible liquid alsterine which blows up when it's surrounded by a mysterious sea mist in danger at ocean deep? Ocean Pioneer. Yes. Who is the inventor of the crab logger tree felling machine that is about to crash into the dam at San Martino when its shutdown procedure is activated? Jim Lucas. Yes. In Desperate Intruder, what is the name of the device that Scott and Gordon use to rescue brains from the ruins of the temple on the bed of Lake Anasta? It is essentially a huge airbag. Hydrostatic hoist. Yes, in Day of Disaster, which suspension bridge collapses under the weight of the Martian probe rocket being driven across it? It's already been weakened by a storm. Allington's suspension bridge. Correct. Which lost pyramid do Lindsay and Wilson discover while they're waiting for international rescue when they're stranded in the Sahara Desert with no water? Commander Dees. Yes. David Holliday provided the voice of Virgil Tracy in Series 1. Which actor took over for Series 2? Jeremy Wilkin. Correct. What painting by Bracasso is apparently stolen when the Duchess of Royston takes it to New York? Portrait of a Gazette. Correct. What is the title of the final episode shown on Christmas Day 1966? The show was cancelled six episodes into the second series when it failed to sell in America. Give or take a million. Is correct. Alan, you have no passes. You've scored 13 points.